Welcome to this workshop. Um, I'm so happy to be here for the in Israel for the second time. The first time was uh, five years ago when I had also the opportunity to have uh, another workshop, one day workshop. I don't know if some of you already uh, came to that workshop. Okay. And. Um, so uh, I would like to, first I would like to thank uh, uh, Dr. Nieuwhesser for inviting me to organize uh, many things about this workshop. Uh, Mera, I don't remember the surname. It's okay, Mera is okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Who organized everything perfectly? Uh, we kept in touch for several months, and uh, all people who contributed to. Uh, help to this uh, workshop. Um, I'm happy to see so many people here today. Um, I think that this could mean that uh, probably there is a lot of interest uh, in OCD here in Israel. Uh, this is a workshop, a seminar, so I like to have uh, an interaction with you. Okay, so if something is not clear, you can ask me, or if you need. Uh, ask some questions, you can do it, okay? And um, there is uh, some material that uh, uh, we decided to give you uh, for this workshop. Uh, you can find uh, the program, you can find uh, some exercises on the program, and, um, and also some basic uh, tables and charts that I use uh, in this program. There is also <laughs> very important material, <laughs> the handouts of PowerPoint. So all the slides that I, I will show you, uh, uh, you will have uh, in paper uh, as a handout, but um, not now, because uh, I will prefer to give you the handouts at the end of the workshop, because uh, in, in the handouts, uh, are uh, present many of the contents that are, of course, uh, many of the questions and the issues that I would like to discover with you, okay? Mm -hmm. Through questions, through interaction. But if you if you see the contents in the handouts, uh, I can ask you nothing, okay? <laughs> so, so uh, I want to have the surprise effect also, okay? Um, so be patient. Um, you will have also the handouts. The composition of this group. Are there uh, several social workers? How many here? Social workers? Okay. Also some psychologists? Okay. Some uh, psychiatrists? <laughs> um, other profession? Teacher. Teacher? Teachers. Teacher, okay. The psychiatric nurse. Psychiatric nurse, okay. Good. Um, family doctor. Family doctor, okay. This is an introductory workshop about the MCD for OCD model. Uh, this means that uh, uh, we will uh, um, learn and discover uh, the basic features of this program. Uh, I illustrate you all the program, of course, but. Uh, we have the time to share some of the most important exercises of the program. Um, the rationale, and uh, you will see all the, the, all the contents of each session of this program. And, but uh, in particular, it's important the rationale of this model. And uh, so at the end of this workshop, you, you will have the, the chance, the possibility uh, to, to use part of this model, in particular in individual setting with patient, with OCD patient. Not in group, because in, you, in order to use in group uh, setting, you need uh, more training, okay? So maybe we will have uh, other steps <laughs> next year, okay? Um, so to sum up uh, uh, the basic contents of uh, this workshop, we will try first to understand uh, 
what are the, the cognitive processes uh, and the biases that uh, activate and maintain uh, OCD? Okay. Um, this is a destructive important starting point. Um, in order to understand how mindfulness can intervene in, the, in, this, uh, in this disorder. Um, we also try to understand uh, how mindfulness can have uh, an effect, a therapeutic effect, uh, can have uh, a clinical relevance for OCD problems. Um, we also illustrate uh, the basic feature uh, and the principle uh, of the MCT OCD model. Um, we will visit uh, each of the 11 sessions of this uh, program. <coughs> and of course, uh, we will share uh, several exercises, uh, not only meditation exercises, but also cognitive exercises of the program. And uh, <coughs> also, we have the chance to uh, to see some uh, some videos of real session uh, from the from the real groups of the program. <coughs> um, we will try also at the end uh, um, to to invite you to leave some basic practices, maybe in, in couple or in little groups. Uh, but the basic, the most important thing is uh, the moment in which you can, can share what you what you felt after an exercise. This is a very important part of uh, mindfulness interventions. So. I, I'd like to start uh, this workshop with a with an image, which is, uh, I think, quite impressive. Um, and it is also very connected with your history. Um, but uh, there is a reason for that. Um, I think that maybe all of you know this, uh, this uh, sentence, this yeah. sign. Okay. Uh, I took this picture uh, in the enter of the Auschwitz uh, that camp in uh, Oswiecim, in Poland. Uh, when, of course, uh, I was uh, uh, I felt many emotions. It was very touching, of course. But uh, some time later, uh, I was I created a connection between this uh, this very bad uh, sentence and uh, also the OCD problems. Because uh, you know that uh, this sentence was uh, one of the worst of the seed of. Uh, of the history, of human history, you know. That's because uh, you know that most of people who entered into that camp uh, uh, didn't uh, exit alive, of course. So, uh, by my friend means, of course, uh, uh, work set you free, okay? But uh, it was not true. We know that most of people who enter uh, die, okay? Um, this is a tragic, uh, a tragic uh, this, this sheep. But uh, you know that we know that also in OCD problem, people uh, tend to deceive themselves because uh, uh, they say to themselves that uh, if they uh, do something uh, in a ritual way, okay, in a compulsive way. Maybe they will be free from anxiety. Um, and this is, of course, not true. Because uh, through rituals, they, their problems uh, will increase and will reinforce over and over again. So, maybe uh, one of the most useful things that we can do with OCD is uh, help these patients to understand their own personal and specific uh, uh, self, the seed, uh, um, that they use uh, for many years and uh, that reinforce their problems uh, over and over again. Um, 
just some inf basic information about OCD. Uh, how many of you already work with OCD? Everybody. <laughs> yeah, that's why you are here. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, how many of you already are trained in mindfulness? Mindfulness based intervention. Most of you. Okay. Okay. So you know many things. Um, you know that uh, OCD is a uh, chronic and often, often severe, not always, but often severe psychiatric disease. We know that uh, the basic feature is uh, the presence of uh, recurrent images and distress in the uh, Images or impulses, which are called obsessions, and or, it's not always present, they are not always present, repetitive mental or over acts, which are called compassions or neutralizing behaviors. And uh, which are aimed to reduce or remove the distress or anxiety. It's not only anxiety, you know. Uh, anxiety is just one of the emotions that uh, this patient feel. But uh, very often, uh, other emotions like uh, disgust, for example, or uh, shame. Okay. Um, so we can, in general, we can say distress. Okay. You can use this general term. Uh, this is distress caused by the obsessive thoughts and, and also aimed to prevent the perceived uh, negative, very negative consequences. Um, we know that there is a lifetime prevalence about uh, around the 2 or 3 percent worldwide and uh, also we have uh, the onset uh, in the adolescence or early adult child adulthood and uh, usually with, the, with a really gradual onset. OCD is the fourth most common uh, disorder, psychiatric disorder in the world after obese, substance, substance use, disorders and depression and is uh, the tenth leading cause of disability in the world including all the medical uh, diseases. Um, so, you can easily understand that uh, this disorder leads to very high health care costs. Is there some data that is going up? At least my impression that there go more and more cases of uh, OCD. If there is uh, data about it. The data about what? About the increase of the phenomena. Yeah, over the, the years. Over the years. Uh, yes, actually, Normally, the statistics say that uh, it's quite stable, this, uh, this, uh, this rate. But uh, in, my, in, my, in my opinion, in my experience, uh, maybe uh, the, the prevalence is higher than what we know here. Because uh, many, many patients, many, many OCD patients do not ask for help, do not seek uh, therapy. So, they probably do not enter into the, the statistics. You know. I, I, I don't know how it's, I went over what's the prevalence here in Israel. Maybe you can tell me something about that. Probably is uh, very similar. 30% is the same, yeah. It's interesting that it is uh, worldwide that we have uh, approximately the same, uh, the same uh, rate, the same prevalence. Thank you.